to say former first lady, Mrs. Lodina Mahama Oninikunu. Former first lady and her husband. I for do translation give you. Yes. Say Amadia Shopping Center. Dr. Kret Nanaburu. Say Assemblyman. Honorable Ibrahim Lauda. Honorable Rashid. Ghana Fujina. Every Ghanaian. He mentioned some names and now he's saying that every Ghanaian. Ghana Fujina. To the whole world. Ghana Chef Association. Ghana Chef Association. Bia. Everyone. Odin. Odin. Nini. Nini. Bia. Ebeta. Kukato. Nechi. Everyone that made my Kukato possible. Se. Gana Pose. Unfami Boni. Jami. Please forgive me. Mafumu Kese. Bro. I do big mistake. My phone can say I have. I do big mistake, bro. Phone can say and say say let's not see the mumpo. He say he doesn't even deserve to live. He has made a very big mistake, and he doesn't deserve to live. Say, we talk about it. Mm. I've done a big mistake. Mistake we are not supposed to do. I shame the whole country. I'm very sorry for that. And so, it's a big mistake. It's a big so the woman behind the camera said what's the point of all this apology and the man responded that the whole kukaton thing it is a lie it is fake yes so the woman just said, so it means that the Kukaton, you didn't even register it. So say that to all Ghanaians. Okay. So he said that he registered, but they didn't give him the go ahead. He registered, but they didn't give him the go ahead. Hmm. But he said he want although he wasn't giving the go ahead, he wanted to try ways and means, like everything possible to show the world what he's capable of doing. Like, you know, he is a chef. He can do this. But although he wasn't given the go-ahead to. He said, what else will push him to do something like that if it's not about money? Bro, honestly, when I started, you know, watching this... I, 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 like, I was like, oh, come on, bro, come on, bro. But, you know, listening to him, huh? Listen, <laughs> So he said, um, if, although Guinness record didn't, you know, give him the go ahead, he wanted to, you know, still do something for them to go like, okay, you can do it. Okay. Mm. So he just said, um, if what he did went well, it would have been like an avenue to, you know, make their lives better, make his life better, his family's uh, life better also. So, mm. Mm. 
Can I for whom in my book? Whom I wish I'm a book. What for one in check? Seventy. Wow. Well, there is another video of him apologizing. It was, I think, live on TV. Yeah, there is a video of that also. Um, let me see if I can. Yeah. A very big apology on this big platform. Yeah. And I apologize to the world. Okay. That I'm so sorry. Mm. I don't deserve to leave. This I don't deserve to leave thing they talk, my brother. Like you know for Adam. But so once again it is the same thing um he said in the other um apology bro honestly this is what i think about this apology yeah although everything he did was fake the whole setup was fake yeah you coming out with this apology you've done something which is fake so this apology it is possible you can you know fake it because you know you're a master at it but honestly he went like straight to the point to apologize. And for me, like, bro, it is okay for me. Yes, some people may say um, it is fake, but honestly, honestly, I respect him for this. I respect him for this. He admitted he is wrong. He um, stated his reasons <clears throat> as to why he did that. So. There's nothing else to say for me. Bro, unlike one Ghanaian pastor will lambast uh, Pastor Jerry Eze for, you know, holding that crusade in Ghana, and he came out to say all sort of things, and he later came again to, you know, apologize. Bro, this man of God went on and on. He was trying to say things to justify the things he said about the crusade. Talking about how he has helped... Um, ministers of God coming into the country so he doesn't have any reason to like bro for me that apology didn't say well with me I'm not in any position to judge by your yes we are humans we will eventually but this particular one here he went straight to the point he apologized bro he made a mistake and it takes a real man to you know publicly make a video about it go on TV about it and apologize chef I think um just in case this is also fake, which I hope it is not, you have achieved what you wanted to achieve. Yes, bro, now, for some reason, people will know you now. Bro, look at the positive side. You faked it, you've come on live TV, yes, people will say it is also fake, but bro, you've done what is necessary. What else should he do? Should he just keep mute and pretend nothing has happened? It is nice for him to come out and apologize. But bro, if this apology is also fake... Hey! Hey! Bro, thumbs up, man. You did what is right. You apologize. You move. It's up to you to believe it or not. I know some of you don't believe. <laughs> But yo, some people may disagree, but yo, he has apologized. We move. I'm out.